Hi and welcome. In this video we're going to be looking at addition and subtraction. Now I have already produced videos showing how to add and subtract numbers and in fact I'll put some links below the video and at the end for those. But in fact when we are faced with exam questions we are not always told whether or not we need to add or subtract. We have to look at the question and make that decision for ourselves. So I'm going to go through three or four examples of questions like this and how we might make that decision. Here we have a set of sums and hopefully you'll find them quite straightforward because in the top one we have a plus sign, we have a minus sign, we have the word plus here, this is telling us to add together and this one take away. So in each of these questions, each of these sums, we have quite clear instructions as to what we need to do. Unfortunately, in an exam, a lot of questions will be describing some kind of real life situation. They will not have any of these words and it will be up to you to decide which of them you need to do. So let's have a look at some examples. Here's our first example then. Lindy wants to buy some cinema tickets. She needs a ticket for herself and also one for each of her two children and she's going to collect the tickets from the cinema. So she finds the price of the tickets and we know that adults are 14 pounds, children are six pound, and it tells us there's a delivery charge for two pounds. We're being asked how much she's going to pay. Now, there is no indication on the question here, no add sign, no word plus, no take away, no subtract. You have to decide for yourself which of these you are going to choose to actually work out the answer. And in this case, we need to add the prices of the tickets together. I guess the one clue is the word total at the bottom here. So let's have a look at the answer. Well, Lindy, as an adult, is going to pay 14 pounds for her ticket. She has two children, so six pound for one child and six pound for the other. Now then, we have a bit of information here that says there is a two pound delivery charge. Don't be tempted to add that on because if you read the question, you can see she's going to collect the tickets from the cinema. So they're not going to be delivered. Quite often there can be things in questions that you do not need to include. So let's add the prices. Four plus six is 10 plus the other six is 16. We're going to write down the six, carry the one, in the next column we have one and the one that we've carried is two so the answer is going to be 26 pounds the important thing is at the beginning of the question you have to decide are you going to add or are you going to take away be careful when you're making that choice and read the question carefully here's a second example suki has been to the shopping center she went to the cinema for two hours, she spent one hour having lunch, and she went shopping for three hours. And we're being asked how long did Suki spend at the centre? Yet again, there are no word clues, no symbols to tell us what sum it is we need to do. Therefore, you have to decide. And again, in this example, we need to add up the times to find the total. So it would be simply two hours in the cinema, one hour having lunch, and three hours shopping we'd add them to get six. The maths is not difficult, but first of all, we have to make the decision as to which sum we are going to do. Here's an example where Ollie is buying a can of pop. It cost him a pound. He pays using a five pound note. And this time we're being asked how much change will he get? No clues again. We're going to have to decide which sum we need to do. In this case, if he's paying with a five pound note, but the drink is only costing him a pound, we need to know what the difference is between a pound and five pounds. And in order to do that, we need to do a takeaway. Five pound minus a pound means that he's going to get four pounds back in change. So in this case, it was a subtraction or a takeaway. But again, you had to work that out. And as we're seeing here, sometimes that choice is more difficult than actually answering the question. And a final example, Mina goes to the hairdressers. 
She is charged £30 for a haircut, but she has a voucher for £10 off. How much will she pay? Maybe a little clue in here is the word off, because in fact, to answer this, we have to decide to take £10 off 30, which is, again, a subtraction. 30 minus 10, Mina is going to pay £20. So four examples there, all which have relatively easy mathematics, but none of which tell us which sum we actually need to do. And this is where you need to read it carefully and make that decision before you start doing the maths. I hope that has helped, but I also hope it has made you realise that you need to be a little bit more careful at the beginning of a question before you decide how you're going to answer it. If that has been useful, please hit my subscribe button and if you hit the notifications as well, you'll get to see any new videos that I bring out in the future. Thank you.